In this mega creator review video, I'm going to be reviewing an illustration design software called Mega Creator. So let's head over to my screen where I can start showing you about the software. Now, just before we get started, if you have any questions whatsoever, leave your comments below and I'll also leave a discount link which will give you the best offers and the best place to actually purchase Mega Creator. So you can see right in front of us, we have tons of templates, illustrations for every social media platform you can imagine. Um, it's great to have some done for you templates and Pinterest posts, um, product hunt thumbnails, and you know, just a whole massive gallery of illustrations for you to start using. But let's go ahead and create a design from scratch. So you have a really simple drag and drop editor and to your left you have all your photos, illustrations, icons, backgrounds, text and your personal upload fi file. Then to uh, at the top you can change the dimensions of a post, zoom in and even share the links on social media or by a custom URL and you've also got this background colour changer right here like so. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to choose a model. So let's go ahead and go into the model section. And as we scroll down, you've got all of these PNG transparent photos. I'm going to go with the clown. And just like that, the clown is in our desktop. And what's cool as well is it shows similar pictures to that clown. So if we click show more, you've now got all of these pictures, right? So uh, let's go ahead with this one and then it changes it for you. We can make this bigger, drag it like so, okay? And then when you click on the element, all of these other options appear. So you've got adjust effects, so you can make it transparent or even give it a shadow, and then you can change the shadow. So for example, let's make a blur of 10. Let's change the X to 10 and we will keep the Y as it is. And then let's fade out the shadow a little bit. Okay, that's a nice faded shadow and there you have it. Then you also, you can flip it horizontal or vertical. You can bring it forward or send it backwards and you can also duplicate it like that. Okay, and then click the delete button if you don't want it anymore. Once you move it, to where you want it to be, head over to the next step, which is gonna be either illustrations or icons. And here you can see all the illustrations. I'm gonna go ahead and pick, let's go with this cake. Put that in. And I'm going to, uh, let's make it transparent a little bit and let's send it backwards. Okay, so that's now behind the picture and I'm gonna just make it really big like that. Okay, that looks cool. Then you've got the icons, you've got loads of icons. So let's say we wanna add, um, let's say, I don't know, this little icon here. Uh, let's go with this one, okay? That can go here. Just put it there for whatever reason. And then with backgrounds, you've got tons of backgrounds. Um, I, uh, what do we wanna go? Let's just go with a random one. Let's try this one, okay? and then you can move it about, make it bigger, and then you can send it to the back, and you can even change the opacity as well, okay? And next, let's go to text, and let's go ahead and add some text in. Let's do this one, and then say, stop clowning around then you can adjust the text accordingly. So if you wanna make it bigger, just change it here. So let's make it 150. If we wanna change the line spacing in between, let's make that 100. That's a bit too little. There you go. If you wanna make it bold, you can, or if you want to align it, however, but we'll pull it there and then we're going to drag it there. And if you wanna change the color, you can do. And again, I'm gonna make this a little bit like that, and you can add outlines if you want. Okay, and change the thickness like so. And that looks pretty good to me. 
Uh, when you're ready, you can either export it into all of these formats. You can actually export it in a PSD format or as a PNG file. Uh, you can do SVG and in the paid versions, you've got one time draft, etc. 